Emmanuel Macron's France might be more concerned about the new Brexit deal than it seems, as one of its senators has warned that without a new agreement on fishing, the country could lose 650 million euros, 557 million pounds. Fishing, championed by French President Emmanuel Macron, was one of the major bones of contention during the Brexit talks. Even before negotiations on the trade deal started, the French government made it clear to the EU's chief negotiator Michel Barnier that he had to push for stronger commitments on regulatory alignments and access to UK fishing waters in return for maintaining free trade. Mr. Macron said in March last year, in no case shall our fishermen be sacrificed for Brexit. In the end, the two sides reached what they both described as a mutual compromise, which saw the UK government settling for a five-and-a-half-year transition during which access is fixed. At the end of January, France's Minister for the Sea, Annick Jourardin, reassured people in the sector they had done well out of Brexit talks, particularly in Jersey waters. She said, they wanted all of their waters to themselves, but we kept all of the access. Not everyone in France feels the same way, though. Mr. Barnier appeared before the French Senate at the end of February and during the hearing, Paris' true feelings about the talks came into the open. French Senator Jean-Francois Rapin, president of the European Affairs Committee, argued the Brexit deal is a lose-lose agreement that could cost France 650 million euros, 557 million pounds. He explained, the fisheries agreement, is fundamental for our fishermen. But what about after 2026? Without an agreement we would lose 650 million euros, 557 million pounds, of catch annually. We must ensure our standards are respected to guarantee fair competition and food security. There should be alignment in veterinary controls. I'm worried about the difference in checks between member states. Some ports could be tempted to reduce checks to attract business. The EU-UK Trade and Cooperation Agreement, TCA, that was signed by Prime Minister Boris Johnson and the EU on Christmas Eve allows Brussels to keep 75% of the value of the fish it now catches in UK waters, with 25% being returned to British fishermen over the transition period. Stock quotas for the UK will increase over a five-year time frame, incrementally between now and 2026.